Hello everybody, Morbtron here. Today I want to talk about a sniper rifle you can get yourself in either Gambit Prime or in uh, The Reckoning, if they are the Twin Knight final bosses, which is this week, if you're watching this, the week that this video was released. Uh, this is the Soul Survivor. Uh, now I do have the ornament and the Callus Elite shader on it, but that's what it looks like. It looks like a sniper rifle. Yay. Now it does have a long zoom scope, and you cannot change the scope on it. You can change barrel mods, and that's it. Now, this is not the curated roll, but this is a very, very good roll. Uh, this is the only sniper in the game currently, here at the end of year two, that has the perk firing line. So, the weapon deal deals increased precision damage when near two or more allies. And firing line increases your sniper's damage output by a, a roughly 25%. It's a little bit fuzzy, but around 25%. Now, right now, in the current meta here at the end of year two, single shot grenade launchers like Mountaintop uh, reign supreme as far as boss damage goes. But going into Shadow Keep, having one of these snipers with firing line might come in handy. Uh, you know, there's been rumblings of bungee nerfing things that uh, auto reload for you, like standing in a well with Lunafaction boots, that sort of thing. So having something like uh, a good sniper with reload perks like rapid hit this one also has alloy magazine and a reload masterwork um, might come in really really handy for boss damage and if single shot grenade launchers get their pve damage nerfed like they probably will um, snipers might reign supreme especially if snipers get a buff and especially if there is a 70 rpm sniper rifle that ends up seeing a firing line trait on it. So keep your eye out for this perk, or this trait, being put on a slow rate of fire sniper, because it will hit very, very hard. Um, so we're not going to be PvP testing this weapon. Obviously, this is a PvE roll. This is all about doing increased precision damage against PvE, or any target really, but it's PvE-centric. You're not going to have this trait activate in Crucible. Uh, when it matters to take down a super or anything like that. And increasing the damage by 25% on a 90 RPM sniper wouldn't take down a super anyway. Uh, so I do have two assistants here, and they will be coming over later on. Right now they're just kind of derping around, which is perfectly okay. But I want to go over pretty much every viable sniper right now in the game. So right now I'm holding Whisper. And just FYI, all of these weapons right now that I'm testing are 750 power, so there's no discrepancy in damage there. But we're going to wait to get the Catalyst Whisper breathing on Whisper the Worm. And you'll see there it does 159,588 damage per bullet. Now the nice thing about Whisper is that it does reload itself uh, when you get three precision shots back to back to back, like so. So this thing will have auto reload already built into it. So that's something to keep in mind also going into Shadow Keep for sniper damage. So Whisper still does a lot of damage. We're going to switch it out now to Darcy. Now Darcy, this one has the Masterwork as well as the Catalyst. Um, and when you get target acquired, when it highlights the target, it deals increased precision damage. And deals 96,575 damage per bullet, but can shoot very, very fast. That's kind of... Darcy's thing and holds a lot of rounds in the mag as well. But we're going to take a look at damage numbers from other snipers as well. Uh, take this Bite of the Fox, for instance. Now, this one does have a boss mod in it. Um, without the boss mod, it does 75,977 damage per shot on this target. And you'll see with, it does 81,880. And switching from my Soul Survivor to a Rapid fire sniper rifle. These do 65,000. I'm sorry, they, they do 54,365 damage per bullet. So that's the thing there. Uh, but that was more just to give them a little bit, a little bit of the limelight. What we're talking about here is Soul Survivor. So I'm going to go grab some more ammo from good old. Tribute Hall over here. Very, very nifty for testing damage on PvE targets, by the way. Uh, we're going to come back over here now and uh, 
I'll have my two assistants come over and stand by me. And you'll kind of see how far away you have to be in order to uh, get the firing line buff. So, Ducky will come stand next to me, and then when Ember gets close, I should get the buff. And you'll see it in the left-hand side of the screen. And there we go, firing line. So that's how close you have to be. It's not super, super close. You know, when a boss fight, this is a pretty fair distance away. We'll be able to not stand in bad stuff or, you know, pretty much just be in, like, different areas and be perfectly okay and still have firing line buff. Um, and the buff does not increase in damage, the, you know, going over two people standing next to you, so don't have to worry about that. But with firing line, 82,244 damage, which is an increase, like I said, of about 25%. Now we throw a boss spec mod into that, uh, into this whole scenario, this whole hot mess of boss damage. I can find one. Mods are a mess. There we go. Now, this brings the damage up to 88,685, which has them hitting harder than a 70 RPM sniper, but still does not hit as hard as either of the exotic sniper options that we have. So, right now, with a uh, 90 RPM sniper, you know, firing line does increase its damage by quite a bit, making it hit harder than a 70 RPM sniper, even with just... Uh, the firing line perk without boss spec, um, but with boss spec and firing line does a fair bit of damage. And having uh, reload spec, rapid hit, and this other perk here I forgot about, alloy mag, the reload there you saw was pretty much instantaneous. And now, right now, it won't compare to mountaintop. Uh, Mountaintop is still going to reign supreme. Other grenade launchers will reign supreme. But if that damage ever gets dialed back a hair or two so that other things become viable, which is a, a very strong possibility going into Shadow Keep, might see a sandbox rebalancing because right now bosses are kind of a joke everywhere. They're super, super easy to one phase, and that's kind of the name of the game right now is just one phasing the boss as hard as possible. Um, so. Get ready for PvE to be more challenging in Shadow Keep, and keep an eye out for snipers with the firing line perk. But if you can manage to get yourself a soul survivor with this trait, hold on to it. Even if it's not the exact god roll uh, that I have here with rapid hit, alloy mag, and a reload masterwork, you know, it's still going to be good to hold on to. Um, so yeah, there we go my little review, both of Soul Survivor, but mostly talking about Firing Line. The only sniper that can get it. So get yourself one of these, because it might just surprise the hell out of us in the upcoming expansion that is less than two months away. About a month and a half or so. A month and a week. We'll call it five weeks. How about that, YouTube comment section? There we go. If you like the video, it's a short one. Hit the like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Also, what are you doing not ringing that bell notification? Do that too. I'd appreciate it. But don't forget to have a good day, everybody. And thank you to my two lovely assistants. And I will catch you all next time.